What's up guys? Received some great questions over the past 24 hours. Some questions about how do I find out who I am? How do I receive the guidance? How do I get onto the course of truth? Those are all. Those are all really the same questions. Just put a different way, really. Let me try to. Let me first state that there's no answer to any of those questions. Absolutely no answer. The best that I could do is try to offer offer. Uh, a preparation for you to receive the answer because I don't know who you are you know who you are I know that you're great I know that you're powerful I know that you are God I know that you are everything I know that but who you are only you know that I hate to put it so bluntly but and so crudely but you have to shut the fuck up in order for you to find out who you are you have to shut the fuck up what do I mean by that I mean that there's too much noise in your life there's too much commotion there's too much conformities I have to conform to X I have to conform to Y I must do this I mustn't do that I must be obliged to go work. I must be obliged to make this person happy. I must be obliged to get this degree. I must go work at this corporate office and I must spend 10 years to get to the top and make $100,000. I must marry this woman. I must marry this man. That's all noise. That's all bullshit. And you know it. When you have that feeling in, in, in your heart, that feeling of, what am I doing? Is this right? Is this wrong? You know, when you have that uneasiness to you, that means that there's still so much noise in your life. In order for you to find out who you are, there must be a, a spiritual readiness. Your mind must be ready to receive the message. Now this message may come in the form of a, an, a knowing, you know, you may wake up one night in the middle of the night and, you just, and you'll just know what's going on, you'll really know who you are. Or it may come into, the, into your life in a form of a person who you meet, a book that you read, a play that you see. A country that you visit. These are all manifestations of this knowing, but the knowing really takes form inside of you. I hate to speak so abstract about it, but you gotta quiet yourself in order to know who you are. You have to be ready for the message. If you're if you're if you wake up all day doing just bullshit, you know, doing things that go counter to who you are, you know, that bring about that feeling of un uneasiness in you then you're not going to be prepared for the message of who you are, the story of your life. I look at the grass and the grass is green. The grass knows who, who, who it is. It just grows. It knows to be green. It knows to face the sun. It knows to 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 use its chlorophyll in the uh, in the latter part of, of autumn to use it to build roots because it knows it's going to go into a dormant state in the winter it knows all this it has the divinity within it and it listens to itself it listens to the divine that's really what it's all about you have to listen to the divine you have to surrender yourself you have to give up 
when I read about Jesus and the crucifixion, I don't really look at that as a, as a literal, literal event. Jesus being crucified on the cross is a symbol. What Jesus is saying that you must kill yourself. I'm not talking about suicide. I'm talking about you must die to everything that you desire. You must die to all material gains. You must crucify yourself. That is the symbol of the crucifixion. That is what Jesus taught us. That was the symbol of his message. Crucify yourself. Give up. That's the only way that you could truly know who you are and to know what you have to do. You have to be prepared for the divine order. And the divine order is begging on, on his knees and on her knees saying, please, let me just tell you who you are. Please, I'm waiting for the opportunity. Please just shut up. Please just shut the fuck up so I can tell you who you are. But all day long, you continue with the noise. You put yourself you know, in the crowd of a million people talking all sorts of bullshit. Go this, do this, do that, don't do this. And you're listening to all of them. You're listening to every voice other than your own. No wonder why you're lost. Because you're scared. You're scared to shut up for one second and to listen to the divine order that's begging and crying to tell you who you are. Prepare your mind. Prepare your heart. And who you are will be known to you in due time, when you're ready. But every day must be a preparation for that readiness. And when it comes, that's not it. When it comes, that's when the real work begins. That's when you start living. The divine is always there with you. <laughs> it's always been there. The grace, the power, everything that you are seeking is already inside of you. It has always been inside of you. But it's your objective, your sole objective is to find, to reconnect to it. To reconnect to what is already so divine in you that wants to flower, but let it flower. Prepare the soil for it to flower. Fertilize yourself every day with good books, with meditation, with good conversations, with yoga. This is the this is the 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 fertilizer that's going to prepare the soil of your spirit for you to flower, for you to bloom. That's about it. That's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully that lends some thought to uh, you guys who are trying to find out who you are. And uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. Namaste. Ciao, ciao. Salud. Thanks a lot, guys, for listening.